Okay, good morning. So we're now in our um, second part of a uh, lecture about cancer. Uh, this will be the assessment, diagnosis, and the treatment for cancer part. Okay, so first, uh, let's try to study how uh, cancer or tumor is graded. Okay, so they use the grading system uh, and the staging system. Okay, for the grading system, uh, this is the microscopic examination of the differentiation and the number of mitosis. Okay, so ito tinitingnan nila if the uh, the tumor is um, uh, well differentiated or is it poorly differentiated. Okay, so uh, as the, our lecture before, okay, differentiated meaning uh, you uh, still uh, recognize uh, where the tumor uh, came from. Okay, so for the grading. It is graded as grade one if uh, the tumor is still uh, uh, is uh, well differentiated during my microscopic examination. Okay, and then for the poorly differentiated uh, tumor cells, okay, it is graded as fourteen. Okay, for the staging, uh, this is a clinical uh, radiographic surgical examination or extent of the spread. Okay, so usually the staging is used for the uh, treatment. Okay, pa para alam nila what the uh, treatment is um, uh, to be given to a patient okay, with the stage of the cancer he has okay, at that time. And also, uh, uh, they will know if uh, the, the cancer is had a good prognosis or bad prognosis because of the stage okay, where they um, uh, diagnose for the first time on the uh, to more cells okay so in the staging they use the uh, mnemonics t and m okay the t stands for the tumor size and for the lymph node involvement while m is the state of metastasis okay so they graded uh, the tumor size uh, with one to four okay one is the smallest size and four for the biggest size okay? depending on the uh, size of the tumor okay while uh, uh, the uh, lymph node involvement is graded to uh, 0 to 3 okay so 0 if there is no involvement yet and then 3 if uh, uh, there is a lot of involvement involved okay uh, then for metastasis okay 0 if the tumor did not yet metastasize and 1 if it's already metastasized okay so um, the American Joint Committee okay uh, uh, the stages that they uh, implement is 0 to 4 okay uh, it is uh, the, the primary lesion is uh, the one they are staging okay so for uh, stage 0 uh, the carcinoma uh, is still in C2 okay this is the early form stage 1 localized stage 3 uh, early uh, locally advanced uh, stage 3 late uh, locally advanced and stage 4 it is already metastasized okay pag uh, nasa 3 and 4 okay it is already uh ang prognosis is already poor okay what are the effect of cancer okay so first uh, effect of cancer is the disruption of function of the uh, tissue where they are located or where they grow okay so um, disruption of functions can be due to uh, obstructions of the blood supply of the tissue or pressure of that uh, pressure exerted by the uh, growing uh, tumor okay to the surrounding tissues okay next is the hematologic alteration okay it can um, impair the functions of the blood cells like for example if there's a leukemia okay the functions of the white blood cells is already uh, compromised okay it cannot already um, control infections because of um, uh, there is uh, alteration of the hematologic function of that uh, cell okay hemorrhagic um, it can cause hemorrhagic because of uh, erosion brought about by tumor on the blood vessels okay leading to bleeding okay if uh, bleeding will occur and uh, it is in a, in a um, long time uh, there will be a result of severe anemia due to blood loss okay another effect the last effect will be the anorexia 
kaksesta syndrome, okay? So, dito sa syndrome na to, okay, uh, there will be a loss of appetite of the patients, okay? So, ang nangyayari, there will be wasting of the, of the muscle tissues and the fat tissues, okay? So, ang appearance ng, uh, ng client will be wasted appearance, okay? Next, uh, there will be also uh, what we call the paraneoplastic syndrome, okay? Ito ay uh, when the tumor uh, uh, has a stop excite, okay? That will result in excess hormone production, okay? Uh, one paraneoplastic syndrome that will occur will be the increased uh, parathyroid hormone secretion, okay? If this happen, uh, there will be a resulting hypercalcium niya, okay? Tataas ang calcium level on the heart, uh, on the on the blood vessel, on the blood circulation because, okay, of the increased uh, parathyroid hormone, okay? Uh, lalabas ang calcium dun sa uh, bone mass. Okay. Another is, uh, there will be increased secretion of insulin of the pancreas, okay? Uh, because of this, uh, increased uh, insulin, uh, the resulting will be hypoglycemia, okay? Bababa ang kanyang uh, blood sugar level, okay? Another is the antidiuretic hormone, okay? Pag mag-increase din antidiuretic hormone, because this antidiuretic hormone, the effect will be uh, the patients will not uh, produce urine, okay? Pag increase ito, okay, ang magiging effect will be fluid retention, okay? So, hindi siya ihe, yung, yung water in her body will be retained, uh, therefore, mag-increase ang um, uh, uh, fluid blood circulation, Okay, uh, tatas ang, vol ang, ang, ang volume na, ng uh, uh, blood circulation. Therefore, the resulting effect will be hypertension. Okay, punong-puno ang ating blood vessels of fluid. Okay, and uh, because of this, if there is increased uh, fluid volume in our circulation, some will um, seep out of the blood vessels. Okay, the result will be uh, peripheral edema. Okay, magkakaroon ng edema ang ating mga extremities, okay, of the patients with the uh, uh, cancer. Okay. Another is um, there will be increased adrenocorticotropic hormone um, uh, secretion, okay. Ang, ang effect nito ay magkakaroon din ng, uh, uh, it will stimulate the, uh, the production of, of cortisone, okay. There will be excessive uh, secretion of cortisone, okay. The effect also of this cortisone is... Uh, fluid retention, okay, and increase glucose level, okay, tataas naman dito ang glucose level natin, okay. Uh, next, effect of cancer is pain, okay, this is uh, the major concern of clients and families, okay, associated to one cancer, okay, uh, ito yung palagi na yung complain. okay. Another is um, physical stress, uh, because our body will try to uh, respond and destroy the neoplasm because of this it will take a lot of energy for the body to uh, respond uh, to this neoplasm uh, therefore it will cause a lot of physical stress on the body um, the systemic effect of um, any of um, systemic manifestation of cancer okay uh bababa ang inyong um, uh, ang uh, rbc okay uh, maybe due to blood loss or uh, effect of the production of RBC if it's uh, on the uh, the cancer is located on the bone marrow okay so baba ang RBC another it will cause anorexia okay anorexia there will be poor in appetite not loss in appetite okay uh, magkaroon ng bone muscle uh, weakness and uh, further it will cause a wasting of the muscle and the bone okay sabi ko din kanina uh, the 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 tumor will uh, secrete a protein that uh, can erode the blood vessels so there will be a uh, a uh, blood loss okay and uh, because of uh, of our body trying to uh, 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 correct okay that balance it will cause fatigue okay and, and, and sleep disturbances okay if there's a stop, the topic hormones and factors secreted by the tumor cells, kanina, we discussed already, there will be a paraneoplastic disorder, okay? In the range of effects sites that are associated with the tumor, okay? The cancer cells sometimes produce hormones or hormone-like protein, okay? Ito yung mga yun, the antidiuretic hormone, 
the corticosteroid, the paratormone, okay? So, ito, mag-increase ang mga production nito. Okay? So, it will cause uh, uh, stress hormones ito leading to uh, crushing or abdominal obesity with term arms and legs. Okay? We will discuss them later about the crushing syndrome. Okay? Uh, there are um, warning signs of um, cancer. Okay, that we should uh, be watched out full. Okay, uh, so that we know if uh, a uh, a cancer or a uh, neoplasm is already growing or or the, or the patient is already having this uh, uh, malignant uh, cancer. Okay, um, I uh, we should uh, remember the mnemonics. Caution us. Okay, for C. Uh, stands for uh, change in the bowel or bladder habits. Uh, a for uh, a sore that does not heal. U for uh, unusual bleeding or discharge. Another U for unexplained sudden weight loss. Uh, unexplained anemia. Uh, T for uh, thickening or, or lump. Uh, I indigestion or difficulty in swallowing. O obvious change in white or mole and nagging cough or the hoarseness of voice u unexplained anemia and s there is a sudden unexplained weight loss okay so okay if there is a change in bowel or bladder habits okay a person with the uh, colon cancer may have uh, diarrhea or uh, constipation or he may notice that the stool has become smaller in diameter okay because of the tumor in the in the bowel okay uh, there will be a small opening or caliber of the of the intestine so magiging uh, uh, maliit yung uh, uh, diameter of the stool okay uh, Again, if there is a changes also in in the, in the bladder habits, the man, a person might have a bladder or kidney cancer. Okay, yung para bang uh, onti onting ihi niya, koy ihi siya ng ihi. Okay, so that might be a um, warning sign. Next, a sore that does not heal. Okay, so a small scaly patches on the skin uh, that bleed or do not heal may be a sign of uh, skin cancer okay a sore in the mouth that does not heal also can uh, indicate a uh, oral cancer next uh, if there's also an unusual bleeding or discharge um, or there's a blood in the stool is open the first signs of uh, colon cancer okay if also there is a blood in the urine it is usually the first sign of um, bladder or kidney cancer. <coughs> if there is a postmenopausal bleeding or bleeding after menopause, uh, this may be a sign of uterine cancer. Okay. <coughs> if there is a thickening or lumps, um, there will be an enlarged uh, of the lymph nodes. Okay, or there is a uh, enlargement of a gland, uh, such as the thyroid gland. Okay, uh, this can be an early sign of cancer. Okay, if the breast and the testicular cancer may also present uh, as a lump. Okay, uh, so indigestion or difficulty in swallowing. Okay, uh, cancer of the digestive system, including those of the esophagus, stomach, and pancreas, may cause uh, indigestion. Uh, heartburn or difficulty of swallowing because of the increasing size of the tumor okay if there is obvious changes in a wart or mole okay the size of the of a wart or the mole is increasing okay uh, nagbabago ang kanyang shape uh, the color okay uh, should be reported immediately because this is uh, this might be a uh, early sign of a uh, skin uh, cancer Okay, if a patient or individual has a nagging or, pis uh, or uh, persistent cough or hoarseness, okay, a cancer of the respiratory tract, including lung cancer and laryngeal cancer, may cause a cough that does not go away or hoarseness or, or rough voice 
may happen. Okay? So, this is a sign that uh, the patients might have a laryngeal cancer. Okay? And unexplained anemia, okay? Uh, as we discussed a while ago, okay, uh, there's no, if, if there's no cause of, of, um, of, uh, a lowering of your RBC or your uh, uh, red blood count, okay, maybe you will um, uh, suspect that the patient has already have a um, a leukemia or a cancer, okay. Uh, same thing with the sudden explain of weight loss, okay, because the patient is already uh, having a uh, wasting of the uh, muscle tissues and fat tissues, okay. Uh, this is very, very sudden, bagsak na ang kanyang ang kanyang weight, hindi naman siya nagda-diet, hindi naman siya nag-exercise, okay, you will suspect for the cancer again. Okay, so, for the screening of um, uh, cancer, uh, cancer patient, okay, the early detection and treatment are the, car are the cornerstone of cancer survival, okay, so dapat, uh, maaga pa lang ay may detect na if he has a, a cancer because uh, for stage uh, 1 to 2 to 3, okay, it still can be treated, okay? But if late na ang kanyang um, uh, pag-diagnose, okay, maybe it's already hard to uh, treat the patients or the or the, or the cancer, okay? So, educating the public about a uh, healthy lifestyle and alert detection, okay, should be done, okay? Uh, like, for example, mga food, okay, na dapat niyang magawa, Okay, yung mga practices, okay, that uh, should uh, should be screened for a, a cancer must be done sa period na indicated. Okay, we will uh, discuss them, okay, about the early detection of um, uh, cancer, okay. For breast, uh, usually this is done for female. Sa mga female aged 20 to 39, okay, uh, dapat nagkaroon sila ng um, clinical breast examination okay, every 3 years and also uh, breast self-examination every month okay, after demonstration. Okay. Uh, next, for female naman uh, aged more than 40 years old, okay, ang clinical breast examination should be done every year. Okay. So, uh, breast exam uh, breast self-examination every month pa rin. And then, uh, additional test that should be performed should be the mammogram, okay? And it should be performed every year, okay? <coughs> For um, a colon or rectum, uh, same with the uh, female and male uh, client, <coughs> okay? Uh, more than 50 years old, okay? I... Um, uh, magpapacheck ng occult blood, okay, or the presence of blood uh, in the feces, okay, it should be done every year. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then every uh, five years, the man, additional with the, uh, the with the fecal occult blood, which is every year, is um. The, plexi uh, the flexible sigmoidoscopy, okay? Ito yung sisilipin ang kanyang sigmoid okay, us using a, um, a, a, a scope, okay? Uh, titignan nila kung merong uh, growth na nangyayari dun sa kanyang mga sigmoid, okay? Should be performed in, uh, uh, every five years, okay? Or um, colonoscopy, okay? Ito naman ay uh, visual uh, visualization of your colon, okay? Every 10 years. Or... Uh, uh, double contrast barium enema okay ito ay maglalagay sila ng uh, ng barium okay doon sa may anus uh, papa, magpapasok sila ng uh, barium and then uh, uh, magkaroon ng x-ray okay para makita uh, the caliber of the uh, intestines okay also it is recommended that this uh, uh, barium enema should be done or performed every five years if the patient is already or the individual is already more than 50 years old okay sa male naman sa prostate um dapat a uh, man or a man uh, who is uh, more than 50 years old or uh, or a less than 50 years old pero has a high risk okay 
uh, the uh, the prostate specific antigen and your uh, dig digital rectal examination okay should be performed every year okay sa female naman for uh, cervix uh, tumor of the cervix okay for more than 18 years old female or younger if uh, sexually active okay a pap smear and a pelvic examination should be performed every year okay and for the cancer related checkup for male and female uh, more than uh, 20 years old or 40 years old okay uh, other cancer type okay every uh, three years or every year now for the um, uh, health education okay uh, that we should um, uh, give to our client okay you should uh, encourage the patients or the individual or our client to reduce and avoid exposure to known carcinogen like for example uh, mga preservative uh, um, uh, preserve, uh, preserve, may pres may mga preservative na food like for example uh, mga hot dogs okay uh, smoking um, rich in fats okay uh, next uh, we should encourage also uh, our client to eat a balanced diet of vegetable fruits and whole grains okay to using the fat and uh, uh, red smoke and cured meat okay yung cured meat yung like for example mga uh, tocino uh, okay yung mga, yung mga mga tapa okay uh, tell them also to limit alcohol beverages and have a uh, regular exercise okay next uh, we should also uh, tell them to uh, reduce their stress in life and encourage uh, uh, them to have an adequate rest and relaxation they must follow the screening recommendation as we uh, as we discussed before okay yung uh, mga mga uh, period okay uh, to uh, have their examination okay uh, they should know the seven warning signs yung cautions as okay and then if uh, meron silang napansin na uh, sign and symptoms or uh, warning signs okay they should seek uh, medical attention immediately For the diagnostic procedure for cancer, okay, meron tayong uh, tinatawag na uh, tumor marker identification. Okay, ito yung um, uh, substance that is found in the blood or uh, the body fluids that are made by the tumor, okay, by the body in response to the tumor. Okay, so meron silang specific uh, uh, tumor marker na ilinalabas or sinisecret. Okay, so this is used for diagnostic use uh, for breast colon, lung, ovarian, testicular, and prostate cancer. Okay, we will discuss them uh, uh, one by one, okay? So, for the um, uh, GI, okay, uh, lung and breast cancer, okay, ang uh, tumor marker nito ay what we call the um, uh, cardiogenic embryonic uh, agent, okay? For the hepatocellular, sa gastric, pancreatic, colon, and lung cancer, is the alpha alpha fetoprotein naman ang kanyang uh, tumor marker while a uh, tropoblastic tumor uh, germ cell or ovary is the human chorionic gonadotrophin okay gonad gonadotrophin okay for the prostate cancer is the acid uh, phosphatase in your um, prostate specific antigen okay for ovarian cancer is the cancer antigen 125 Another uh, method that can be used <coughs> to uh, diagnose a, uh, a cancer is through biopsy, okay? So, biopsy, there will be a removal of tissue, okay, for histologic examination, okay? To kukuha sila ng, ng tissue and then they, they will uh, look it on the microscope, okay, for microscopic uh, examination if it is a malignant cell or a benign cell, okay? This is essential for uh, choosing a treatment, okay, para malalaman nila kung ano ang uh, stage of the 
uh, of the cancer already. Okay? There are uh, three types of um, uh, biopsy, the excision, incision, and punch. Okay? Sa... Okay? Sa um, biopsy, okay, will depend on the location and the type of biopsy. Okay? Kung saan located yung... Uh, kung saan uh, naka... Uh, nakalagay or naka makikita yung um, uh, 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 tumor okay or mass okay um, they may need to be uh, NPO or uh, nating per orem kung sila ay bibigyan ng sedation or uh, uh, contrast ay, ay bibigay okay. contrast meaning maglalagay sila ng uh, ng uh, dye okay uh, para makita kung saan yung tumor okay next because this is a um, a invasive procedure okay as a nurse you should um, inform the client about the procedure and there should be a consent form okay a consent from the uh, patients okay that uh, a biopsy will be performed to him or to her okay uh, after the procedure after the the biopsy as a nurse is you should um, uh, control the bleeding because uh, there will be a, a uh, possible bleeding because this is an invasive procedure. Okay, they will excise, okay, or they will punch, or they will um, aspirate. Okay, so bleeding might happen. Okay, so you should control if the bleeding had happened. Okay, and because there is an opening or there's a wound, okay, so you monitor for the site of, um, of the biopsy for infection. Okay. And also, if there's a pain, uh, manage the pain by giving um, uh, analgesic agent or analgesic drug, okay? Next, sabi ko kanina, you should uh, obtain uh, the result, okay, for the biopsy and inform the client about the result of the biopsy, okay? Another diagnostic test is uh, true imaging, Okay, there are uh, different uh, uh, modalities or tool, okay, to, uh, for uh, to image or to see or to locate the uh, tumor or the mass, okay, or the neoplasm. It can be uh, seen through x-ray or through ultrasound or through uh, uh, MRI or CT scan, okay. So, the methods of obtaining information about the presence, location, and extent of the tumor, okay, can be uh, seen or can be obtained uh, uh, through the use of this uh, imaging uh, equipment, okay? So, the method chosen is uh, based on the ability to visualize the tumor, okay? So, an kung anong yung uh, pwede visualize either the MRI or the X-ray or the CT scan or ultrasound, okay? Depende. Okay, the kung kung sa pwede ma-visualize. And then, the risk, okay, if um, there is a risk, okay, uh, in this procedure, okay, ay pwede sila mamili which is hindi risky, okay, dun sa patient, okay. And also, client comfort will be considered in choosing uh, what um, equipment will be uh, used for the patient. And also, the cost, if the patients can afford, okay, uh, the procedure that should be performed, okay, uh, yun ang basis ng uh, mga doctor, okay, because some are, are um, uh, more costly than the other, okay. Before the, <coughs> the procedure, <coughs> as a nurse, is um, you should assess for allergy if uh, contrast is to be used, okay. Di ba sabi ko kanina, they will um, put a dye, okay. Uh, it, uh, they will um, maybe infuse a dye to, uh, to um, have a clearer uh, view of the uh, tumor. Okay, this dye is um, iodine base. Okay, so it might cause an allergy. Okay, and to tatanungin natin sa sa, sa ating pasyente, iodine base yung uh, yung dye. Okay, so you should um, uh, ask our client if they are um, allergic to seafoods, okay? Because uh, ang mga seafoods ay rich in iodine, right? So if they are <coughs> uh, have an allergy to the um, uh, to a seafood, 
okay? Uh, he or she might have an allergy to the dye, okay? And then, uh, also, uh, NPO or natin per OREM, okay? Depending on the area being imaged or use of sedation or contrast, okay? Kung <coughs> gagamit sila ng sedation, okay? So, NPO dapat yung pasyente to prevent aspiration uh, pneumonia, okay? <coughs> Next, Okay, as a nurse also, uh, before the imaging procedure is you prepare the patients for length of imaging. Uh, you tell them, especially the, uh, the MRI, that there will be a possible noise of the machinery. Okay, kasi baka mamaya, uh, magugula siya na, uh, na parang may maingay na nangyayari doon sa machine. Uh, baka ba sabi niya, the broken yung machine. Okay, also, I tell them to, uh, to be uh, still to remain still okay para uh, the image will be uh, perfect or uh, there will be no uh, erroneous result okay and then monitor the client for flushing itching on isaia indicating that the patient is having an allergy to the contrast Now, for the client interaction during diagnosis, okay, let's remember that the client will use coping strategies, okay, to uh, decrease the anxiety level, okay. So, anong mga ginagawa niyang uh, coping strategies is uh, through denial, okay. Nasabi niya na, oh, wala akong sakit, okay, hindi yan, wala yan, wala yan, okay, dinadenay niya. Okay. Then another um, coping mechanism is uh, rational inquiry. Okay. Ito ang nangyari is they will um, ask questions. Okay. Uh, about his condition or about the procedure that will be done. Okay. So as a nurse, you should um, answer or the queries. Okay. Of our client. Then uh, next is uh, affect reversal. Okay. <coughs> ang nangyari dito is uh, parang um, uh, winawala nila yung kanilang anxiety by making light of the situation, okay? Uh, pinagtatawa lang lang nila yung kanilang uh, nangyayari sa nila. They make jokes about uh, what happening to them, okay? Para um, maibsan lang yung kanilang anxiety, okay? Next is mutuality, okay? They could share concerns and talk with other person, okay? Especially kung yung mga taong uh, may nakaranas na rin ng ganito, okay? So, sineshare nila yung kanilang concern, okay? Next, suppression or conscious forgetting, okay? Sinasuppress nila, parang binabaliwan nila, kinakalimutan nila, parang wala lang sa kanila, okay? Another is displacement or redirection, okay? To other thing, <coughs> uh, meaning kung sila ay galit, okay? Uh, inaaway nila yung, yung bantay nila, okay? Nagdadabog sila, uh, nagsisira sila ng gamit, okay? So, dun nila dinadirect or dinidisplace yung anger nila or your anxiety nila, okay? Next. Okay. Another um, points to remember sa client natin is uh, uh, most client fear of death upon confirmation of cancer. Okay? So, uh, kung na natin yan, i-anticipate natin yan, okay, na, that the patients will uh, show uh, fear, okay, or they will have a fear on uh na sila ay uh, mamatay na okay uh, because of uh, meron silang cancer okay and then uh, clients usually ignore cardinal sign of cancer okay kahit na meron silang mga ang iba uh, may mga signs na may mga cardinal signs na na may cancer na but then uh, hindi nila pinapansin because uh, sabi ko nga if uh, na confirm na yun ay uh, cancer okay as takot silang mamatay, okay? So, hindi ini-ignore na lang nila yon, okay? Uh, most often, cancer is detected um, during routine exam, okay? Yung parang, parang uh, accidentally lang, okay? Nag, uh, Nagpapacheck up lang siya ng certain uh, problem, okay? And then, doon na detect yung uh, na may cancer na parang siya. Then, questions that need to be answered, okay? Example, is that this is curable or not, Okay? So, ito yung mga problem natin na kailangan natin i-handle, okay? Um, as a nurse, uh, ang sabi lang natin is yung doctor ang kanyang mag-explain, okay? Hindi ikaw yung 
yung kauna-unahang na lang na magsasabi kaya na, na may cancer sa baka mamaya magkaroon pa ng uh, problem on the understanding of the situation or the or the uh, condition of the patients okay so what are the nursing diagnosis okay uh, that uh, we might encounter during the diagnostic procedure for the patients with cancer okay uh, mga nursing uh, diagnosis will be the risk for infection uh, anticipatory grieving okay uh, akala niya uh, uh, or, or nag-grieve na siya because mamatay siya okay disturb body image okay kung kunwari uh, tinanggal lang siya ng, uh, ng body part okay to remove the tumor uh, for example tinanggal yung breast tissue then fatigue because of the effect of the cancer okay uh, we should uh, uh, anticipate that there will be a fatigue then there will be impaired elimination because of the mass okay that may be uh, large on the passageway of the urine or or the feces okay another diagnosis is hopelessness okay and impaired oral mucous membrane okay another uh, is uh, nausea okay impaired uh, nutrition less than body requirement acute pain and impaired skin integrity especially if the patient has undergone uh, uh, radiotherapy okay or uh, chemotherapy okay. okay for the management of um, of cancer the objective may be uh, to cure uh, to, uh, to cure to control or for palliation uh, purposes only okay for cure is um, eradication of malignant disease talagang dapat tanggalin mo yung uh, yung uh, uh, cancer cells okay uh, para wala na silang cancer talaga okay uh, another uh, objective will be control this is to prolong the survival and containment of cancer cells okay para lang ma ma, ma mapabagal mo yung progressions of the disease process okay para haba pa yung uh, yung life ng ating client okay and, and next is the palliation ito ay uh, hindi siya treatment but then uh, ito ay gagawin just for the relief of the uh, of the symptoms that are or that is associated with the disease okay para siya ay makabu ma siya ay mabuhay in comfort pa rin Okay. Anong mga therapeutic modalities okay, na use for a client who have a cancer? Um, mga modalities that is used, first is the surgery, okay? uh, uh, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, uh, immunotherapy, and uh, bone marrow transplantation. Okay? So, surgery, this is the ideal and most uh, frequently used uh, management okay uh, the goal okay uh, the goal of, um, of the surgery is, is the primary uh, management or treatment for the cancer okay or maybe um, prophylactic meaning uh, to prevention of uh, of uh, having a cancer or palliative okay uh, sabi ko kanina palliative is uh, uh, removing the uh, the discomfort of the patients uh, by surgery, but it's not a treatment or uh, reconstructive. Okay, ito naman ay um, para lang improve ang body image of of individual. Okay, para maganda pa rin ang kanyang itsura, ang kanyang appearance. Okay, they might perform a reconstructive surgery. Okay. Um, surgery also okay. surgery also can be uh, done or can be performed uh, because of diagnostic purposes okay uh, the surgery uh, that is for diagnostic purposes is the biopsy okay ito yung uh, is a form of a diagnostic tool okay 
the the the, the, bi the biopsy uh, is um, uh, there are three types okay the excisional uh, incisional and needle biopsy okay ang um, uh, excisional biopsy this is uh, more frequently used for um, uh, easily accessible to more of the skin uh, breast upper and lower GI and the upper respiratory tract okay uh, because of this of the excision okay it will provide the pathologies the cell and the uh, of and the entire tissue okay so sa kwan kasi is mag-excise sila ng um, ng tissue for the pathologies to examine okay um sa the advantage of the excision biopsy is there will be a decrease the uh, there will be a decrease the chance of seeding the tumor okay parang hindi siya uh, mailipat pa okay or 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 magkaroon o bang nag escape siya at magkaroon ng metastasis okay sa incisional uh, biopsy naman okay <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it is used if the tumor mass is too large to remove okay so masyadong malaki pag pag kinuha nila ay um magkaroon ng uh, uh, ng uh, problem pa so ay eh, eh, ginagawa lang naman nila is to um, uh, diagnose right so ang gagawin nila is kukuha lang sila ng uh, ng um, small uh, fragment of the of the mass or the tumor okay using the incisional biopsy okay uh, next will be the the needle biopsy ang needle biopsy naman it is done uh, on a suspicious mass that are easily accessible. Okay, this is fast, inexpensive, and easily performed. Okay, ito lang ay uh, tutusukin nila ng, ng needle and then mag-aspirate sila. Okay, uh, kumuha sila ng cell and then for examination. Okay. Uh, kanina sabi ko nga, uh, the surgery is a uh, primary treatment. Okay, for... Uh, for uh, cancer okay this is uh, to remove the entire tumor or uh, as much as is feasible okay uh, yun ang, 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 ang goal nila is to uh, remove entirely the the tumor mass okay pero uh, diba ang, ang, ang cancer is sabi ko the, the, the cell is like a um, crab okay uh, nag-iwan siya ng kanyang uh, ng mga extremities okay that is too small okay that cannot be seen through the naked eye so minsan may naiiwan talaga okay so a uh, type of surgery that can be performed is the local excision okay ito treatment na to ah. okay uh, the local excision is uh, use if the mass is small okay so localized lang siya tatanggalan ng hukayin lang na ganun tanggalin yung mass okay next is the wide or uh, radical excision ito naman ay uh, removal of the primary tumor okay hindi lang yung tumor ang tatanggalin kasi they might suspect that it's all, that it might already um, metastasize okay to the um, uh, adherent or or near uh, lymph nodes okay so pati yung lymph nodes na malapit it will be removed and uh, mga adjacent uh, surrounding tissues okay hindi lang yung tumor na, tish, na tissue pati yung adjacent uh, tissue okay uh, para uh, kung sakasaling uh, may mga hindi sila nakita ay uh, matanggal pa rin okay and okay ang problema lang dito so wide or uh, radical excision okay there will be the result will be uh, disfigurement and uh, uh, there will be alteration of function di ba sabi ko nga tanggalin yung lymph node tatanggalin yung tissues okay so malaking natanggal so nagkaroon ng um, disfigurement okay of the site that being uh, uh, operated on okay Next is the salvage surgery, okay? Ito naman yung parang isasalvage lang nila yung part, okay? Na merong tumor para hindi siya like uh, uh, ma-amputate or matanggalan ng part of the of the body, okay? So, tatanggal nila but then uh, i-retain pa rin nila yung uh, part, okay? Next.
uh, another goal for the surgery as I mentioned a while ago is um, uh, prophylactic surgery uh, this is the removal of um, non-vital structure that are likely to develop cancer okay like for example yung breast if there is a suspect diba yung 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 sanabi natin na uh, 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 inherited genes na na pwedeng ma-inherit ng pasyente if if nakita nila na meron siyang uh, uh, high risk of uh, having a uh, cancer okay uh, para lang ma-prevent is tatanggalin na nila yung kanyang breast okay kahit hindi pa siya uh, hindi pa wala pang tumutubo na cancer okay another is um, uh, factors of electing prophylactic surgery okay ano mga factors for um, uh, uh, mga magdesign yung client okay na he will undergo a uh, ay, example kani bala ng patient malala ko lang na nagkaroon ng uh, prophylactic surgery of the breast is si um, uh, Angelina Jolie okay do you know Angelina Jolie yung pouting yung mouth yung yung lips okay wala na siyang uh, breast ngayon wala na siyang mass uh, wala na wala na siyang so so uh, wala naman siyang cancer pa pero meron siyang uh, risk for having a breast cancer so she decided na ipatanggal na ang kanyang suso okay let's go back to the factors for electing a prophylactic surgery okay if the patients have a family history and a genetic predisposition sabi ko nga kung pwede siya makapaghinirit ng 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 uh, mutated genes okay um uh, uh, she or he might consider for a pro uh, prophylactic surgery Next, if there's a presence or absence of symptoms, okay, wala na siyang symptoms, okay, pero may risk, okay, tanggal. There is a potential risk and benefits, uh, ibig sabihin, yung uh, risk, bit, uh, risk, the ratio of, of the risk and the, uh, and the um, benefits is mas mataas yung uh, benefits okay, of having the surgery already, okay, and so she might or she, uh, he might go uh, for a prophylactic surgery okay and then the ability of the cancer uh, at an early stage uh, the ability to the, uh, the ability to take a cancer at an early stage okay so uh ito kung hindi siya ma-detect agad-agad okay uh baka pag detect na ay late na uh magpo-prophylactic surgery na lang siya so, example uh, na prophylactic surgery na ginagawa ay your uh, 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 col uh, colectomy, tinatanggal yung colon, mastectomy, tinatanggal yung suso, and operectomy, tinatanggal yung uh, uh, ovary. Okay. Okay. Another type of uh, surgery, another goal for um, surgery is your um, palliative surgery okay ito naman ginagawa uh, when cure is not possible okay hindi na siya uh, possible to uh, remove the the tumor okay uh, kasi sobrang sugulong sobrang sugulong metastasize marami nang kumalat na na tumors sa ibang part of the body okay uh, but then the patients experiencing so much pain or so much discomfort, okay, they will perform the palliative surgery, okay, because the goal of treatment is to make the patient as comfortable as possible and to promote satisfying and productive life for as long as possible, okay. So that's the, the reason why palliative surgery is performed or done, okay. So after surgery, okay. Um, another uh, treatment or management that can be given to a patient uh, with uh, cancer is uh, radiation therapy. Okay, so as a radiation therapy, it is uh, used to control malignant disease when a tumor cannot be removed surgically. Okay, is it shrink niya or or is it shrink niya yung yung uh, uh, to, uh, yung mass? Okay, para lumiit siya. Okay, para hindi siya mabilis ang panganyang paglaki. Okay, uh, or to relieve the symptoms of metastatic disease 
especially when the cancer is spread to the brain or bone, okay? Di ba? Uh, pag nag-grow yung, yung mass, it will cause compression, okay? Therefore, um, masyadong masakit, okay? So, ninirelieve na yung symptoms by decreasing the size of the of the tumor mass, okay? As a radiosensitive tumor is one that can be destroyed by a dose of radiation that is still allows for cell regeneration of the normal cells, okay? Ito yung ginagamit na na type of radiation, okay? I destroy niya, but then uh, it will also allow regeneration of the normal cell. Okay. Ito yung itsura ng uh, uh, radiation therapy. Okay? That's the machine that will uh, deliver a radiation. Okay? Iyan, umikot yan to um, uh, direct to where the location of the of the tumor Okay. Okay, so ang radiation therapy um, ang ginagamit dito, 'di ba? X-ray is also a radiation. Okay? Pero ang radiation therapy, it uses ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation ang ginagamit, okay? To kill or limit the growth of cancer cells, okay? May may uh, may be used internally or externally. Okay? May be applied uh, internally or externally, okay? Uh, but the effect cannot be uh, limited to cancer cells only, okay? The surrounding cells may be also affected, okay? Uh, there are um, different types of uh, radio, uh, radio, uh, radiation therapy that is used, okay? Um, the, the radiation therapy is used to um, treat cancer. Okay, uh, radiation can be used to cure, stop, or slow the growth of cancer. Or uh, radiation therapy is used to um, reduce symptoms. Sabi ko kanina, when a cure is not possible, the radiation uh, will be used to to shrink the cancer tumor in order to reduce the pressure. Okay, then radiation therapy used in this way can treat problems such as pain or it can be uh, prevent problems such as blindness or uh, loss of bowel and bladder control okay that uh, mga mga tumor that uh, obstruct the passage of the bowel and your urine okay And uh, uh, the cells are that are most vulnerable to radiation ay yung mga uh, when the DNA ay uh, nagsisenthesize or when the cells are in the period or of division or at mitosis. Okay? Ang mga tissue, the body tissue that uh, undergo frequent cell division, okay, sila are yung mga most sensitive okay uh, to radiation okay sample is the bone marrow the lymphatic the 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 glands or the gonads and our gi tract uh, ang mga also mga uh, tissues that are well oxygenated or well oxygenated ay uh, sila din ay uh, very or they are more sensitive also to radiation okay okay so ang highly sensitive uh, highly sensitive organs okay ay mga ovaries testes bone marrow blood and intestine okay ang mga low sensitive naman ay the muscle brain and your spinal cord okay so the types of um, of uh, radiation is first is the um, teletherapy or the external beam okay dito x-ray are used to destroy the cancerous cells at the skin surface or deeper okay ito yung ginagamit pag ang cancer cells ay nasa mababaw lang ang location niya okay there are uh, uh, more commonly used 
kay type of um, uh, radiation therapy. Client is not radioactive during treatment, okay? Hindi siya wala siyang radiation, hindi siya nag emit ng uh, ng radiation. Okay? And the, the radiation is administered in fraction of the full dose 5 days a week for 4 to 6 weeks. Okay? So yung full dose niya ay inahati for kung 5 days a week for 4 to 6 weeks is to uh, 20 to 30. Okay? Ah, uh, na divide yung full dose. Okay. Okay. For a while. Next is the um bracket therapy, okay? Ito ay um internal uh, it, ito internally located okay uh, used primarily in the head neck uh, uh, gynecological uh, prostate cancer okay ito it delivers a high dose of radiations in local area use of uh, using an implant okay naglalagay siya ng implant na mayroong um, high dose of radiation okay so since uh, it is implant Okay, the patient is radioactive, okay? But only when the implant is in place. Kung nandun yung 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 uh, implant na radiation, okay? Ay the patient is also considered as radioactive. Okay. Now, you should plan for cares uh, patiently to minimize uh, nurses exposure to the implant, okay? Using shield, wear a film badge, and maintain safe distance, okay? Para sa inyong uh, uh, safety as a caregiver sa patients who have um, uh, internal in, uh, radiation implant, okay? So, let's remember, okay, the uh, radiation safety, the distance. The greater the distance, okay, is the lesser exposure okay dapat kung mas malayo ka okay the exposure of radiation to the patient is is uh, lesser and the time okay na dapat ka sa pasyente uh, pag nag duty ka okay the less time is spent close to radiation the less exposure so dapat ang maximum na nag-stay ka lang per shift sa pasyente who has uh, internal uh, in or the implant radiation is 30 minutes per shift, okay? So, yung 30 minutes, i-divide mo na lang yun sa shift mo, okay? Don't spend it uh, in one uh, uh, one visit to the patients, okay? Okay, you may also use a shielding, okay? And yung shielding is uh, wearing a uh, apron with lead, okay? And also glove with lead, okay? Yung lead kasi, it will... Uh, it will not allow for the radiation to penetrate. Then, the standard, okay, dapat keep as low as reasonably achievable. Okay. Uh, yung badge, dapat meron tayong wear na badge. Okay, this badge kasi is uh, minimation niya kung um, gano'n ka naka-expose or gano'n na uh, kadaming uh, radiation ang nare-receive mo or, or uh, na, uh, gano'n ka na radiation na, ka naka-expose. Okay? okay? Dapat, uh, pregnant nurses uh, should not care for clients with uh, implanted radiations because uh, it might um, cause a uh, uh, fetal abnormality if uh, uh, the baby is uh, exposed to radiation, right? Pag uh, the implants is um, na dislodged, na hulog, okay, you should uh, use a uh, pick up, okay, a long forceps, okay, uh, to pick up the dislodged uh, uh, implant. Okay. Next, dapat the body fluids of clients treated with systemic radioactive iodine are radioactive. So, fluids of clients with implants, okay. Uh, should not be touched. Okay? Should not be handled. Okay. 
what are the side effects of uh, radiation therapy? Okay, there will be um, skin, uh, in this skin, there will be itching, redness, burning, and sloughing, okay? So, anong, ga anong dapat natin gagawin as a nurse, okay? You should keep the skin free of foreign substance, okay? To further, uh, uh, to decrease further uh, irritation of the skin. Next, avoid use of medical solution, medicated solution, okay? Kasi di ba, itong mga medicated solution are also irritant. Okay, like for example, alcohol. Then, avoid pressure, trauma, or infection, okay? Because, di ba, nagkaroon na tayo is laughing of the skin, okay? There's a burning, uh, there's a burning uh, of the skin that already happened, okay? So, uh, pressure, trauma, okay, should be avoided and also uh, avoid that uh, patients might uh, have an infection. Another is um, avoid exposure to heat, cold, or sunlight, okay? Kasi sensitive viewing skin because of there's already sloughing of the uh, external part of the skin. Uh, another side effect will be um, anorexia, okay? So, anorexia, eh, anorexia, vomiting, anorexia, okay? Anorexia is, uh, there is a loss in appetite. Uh, vomiting, okay, is um, expelling out of food. And nausea, uh, nausea is, uh, uh, is a feeling that uh, you are going to vomit, okay? So, ano ating, anong magiging action natin as a nurse, okay? is to uh, provide a small, attractive feeding, okay? Unti lang, para kahit, kahit na wala siyang gana, is pa unti-unti lang, at gawin mong attractive ang kanyang pagkain para ma-stimulate mo siya na kumain, okay? Next, because uh, na nasusuka siya, okay, ay, at saka hindi siya masyado nakakain, is you avoid the uh, uh, extreme of temperature okay of the food may masyadong malamig masyadong mainit okay next uh, para hindi siya masuka uh, pag kumain siya is you give or you administer antiemetic okay before meals okay, antiemetic this is a drug to prevent vomiting okay um, for the side, side effect naman na uh, diarrhea Okay, so anong ating magiging uh, nursing consideration is to encourage uh, our patients to have a low residue, bland, high-protein foods. Okay. Provide a good perennial hygiene, okay, kung tayo nang tayo. And then because of um, uh, frequent uh, uh, bowel movement, okay, the patient is uh, mawawalan ng electrolytes. So, you should monitor for um, uh, her electrolytes, okay? Uh, specifically, the the sodium, potassium, and uh, uh, and calcium. Okay. Okay. Sa um, uh, anemia naman, leukopenia, at saka thrombocytopenia, uh, you should isolate your patients okay because uh, mababa ng kanyang resistance siya because of decrease WBC okay magkaroon na siya mayroon na siya ng leukopenia uh, i-isolate mo siya para hindi siya mahawa okay uh, kung marami kasi yung pasyente okay the patient your patients might um, have or uh, might be infected by those uh, individuals then um, pag may anemia naman uh, encourage your patients to provide um, frequent rest period okay to prevent fatigue okay you encourage also high protein diet okay and because of thro uh, thrombocytopenia mababa ng kanyang platelet level okay you assess or you monitor for bleeding okay because a patient who have a thrombocytopenia is prone to bleeding or is at high risk for bleeding and uh, you should monitor for a uh, lab result like your CBC your uh, WBC and your platelet count okay. 
So that's it about the um, uh, radiotherapy. The next uh, management or treatment for uh, uh, cancer will be the chemotherapy. Okay, this is used to this is used to uh, treat systemic diseases rather than localized lesions that are amenable to surgery and uh, radiation. Okay, used in attempt to destroy um, tumor cells by uh, interfering with the um, cellular function and reproduction. Okay, so uh, yon. Okay, uh, it will try to uh, destroy the tumor cells. Okay. Okay. Uh, chemotherapy may be uh, given in um, in many ways. Okay, uh, they may be given um, through injection. Okay, so injection, the chemotherapy is given by a shot in the muscle, in your arm, thigh, or hip, or right under the skin in the body part of your arm, leg, or your belly. Okay. It can also be administered through intra-arterial, okay? Ito naman, the chemotherapy goes directly into the artery that is feeding the cancer or the tumor. <coughs> Next <coughs> is maybe can be administered um, by intraperitoneal, okay? Uh, ito, the chemotherapy goes directly into the peritoneal cavity. Okay, the peritoneal cavity kasi uh, is the area where it contains organs as, as your intestine, stomach, liver, and ovaries. Um, it can be also given through IV or intravenous. Okay, uh, ito ay pinadadaan uh, sa vein mismo yung, yung chemotherapy. And then lastly will be topically, yung chemotherapy comes in a cream. And then you will rub it onto your skin. Okay. Uh, I remember pala. Uh, orally, pwede din orally. Um, they are come in pills, capsule, or liquid that you can swallow. Okay. Okay. So what are the uh, contraindications for... Uh, For a while. What are the complications for uh, chemotherapy? Okay, if the patient has already infection, kasi ka, uh, uh, one side effect of um, of uh, chemotherapy uh, will be suppression of your uh, immune system. Okay, it it has effect on your uh, uh, bone marrow. Okay, the bone marrow dito nag nag uh, produce ng uh, ng white blood cells, right? Okay. Next, if the patient have a recent surgery, okay? So, wag mo na siyang bibigyan ng chemotherapy, okay? Uh, wait until the patient had already recovered. Okay. If the patients have impaired renal or hepatic function, okay? Uh, chemotherapy is not advised to him or uh, to her. Because um, the chemotherapy are um, very toxic, okay? It should be uh, eliminated immediately. If there's impaired renal, okay, it cannot eliminate the drug. And also, the drug is metabolized on the, the liver, okay? So, it will reach a toxic level if it cannot be metabolized because of impaired hepatic function, okay? Next Kung merong recent uh, radiation therapy, okay, um, chemo is not uh, given yet, okay, kasi uh, uh, you need uh, the normal cells to recuperate first, then pregnancy, uh, because it's had a, um, uh, ito ay uh, nagka, na, meron siyang um, abortive property or even um, uh, fetal abnormality, okay. Uh, pag mababa okay, meron condition na depressed ang yung bone marrow okay uh, ganoon din, hindi siya uh, binibigay because it will cause further uh, depression of your bone marrow okay, another uh, uh, next a complication okay. for a while Okay. 
major side effect of um, your chemotherapy sa GI system the major side effect of your of your um, chemotherapy will be nausea and vomiting okay so ganun din what will be our nursing intervention is we administered um, uh, antiemetics okay to prevent vomiting uh, dapat NPO yung pasyente natin uh, 46 hours before chemotherapy okay para wala siya may labas okay uh, kasi it might cause um, uh, aspiration okay uh, dapat uh, to prevent uh, nausea you uh, offered a bland diet foods okay in a small amount after treatment okay next if the patient experiences diarrhea okay um after okay after uh pneumotherapy okay is uh, you just uh, uh okay assist with the uh going to the bathroom okay because the patient is not yet uh, uh strong okay he might fall down okay so you should assess the uh, assist the patients going to the bathroom okay another is stomatitis okay and ano my stomatitis there is a um, uh, white speck okay uh, that is very painful uh, on the uh, buccal mucosa okay so para um, uh, prevent ang discomfort is you perform a good a good oral hygiene to your uh, uh, patients okay next dapat you um, encourage to rinse okay with the uh, viscous uh, lidocaine before meals okay the lidocaine is an uh, anesthetic agent okay para hindi masyadong masakit then uh, rinse with plain water or hydrogen peroxide after meal okay para mahugasan yung uh, yung buccal uh, membrane <coughs> okay para prevent ng infection then uh, apply water soluble lubricant okay doon sa mga site of uh, stomatitis okay to prevent irritation of the inflamed buccal mucosa or buccal lining then uh, uh, to provide moisture doon sa kanyang buccal uh, membrane <coughs> it's you you may um, offer a popsicle uh, for the patients to suck okay popsicle yung um, ice drop <coughs> yon okay pwede mong bigyan nung ganun okay to provide moisture so another uh, side effect that might that uh, the patient might encounter is sa uh, may uh, hematologic um, uh, system okay uh, chemotherapy will cause uh, myelosuppression okay uh, yung um, yung yung uh, uh, bone marrow okay uh, will be suppressed so there will be de a decrease uh, productions of different blood cells okay uh, because of that it might cause a, um, a thrombocytopenia okay leukopenia and uh, uh, anemia okay sa thrombocytopenia is bababa ka platelet so therefore you should avoid uh, bumps or bruising sa yung pasyente because he is prone to uh, to bleeding um but, uh, the, uh, you protect your client from uh, physical injury okay avoid aspirin yung mga gamot na may aspirin kasi it will further um uh, cause bleeding it will uh, it, it will promote uh, more bleeding okay because aspirin is anticoagulant drug okay if you will administer medication you should avoid um intramuscular okay because if the platelet is um, decreased okay uh, after injection through IM it might uh, cause bleeding okay <coughs> and also uh, assess uh, for bleeding tendencies okay uh, sa pasyente natin kung may mga pwedeng mag cause ng uh, bleeding sa pasyente natin Okay, like for example, brushing of uh, of teeth. Okay, uh, yung mga ganon. 
Another uh, hematologic problem is leukopenia. Uh, leukopenia is bababa ng kanyang WBC. Okay, so the WBC is very important in, um, uh, in our fight for infection, right? So, uh, before handling the patients, okay, you should uh, carefully uh, wash your hands, okay, uh, so that uh, to prevent uh, cross-contamination. Uh, if the WBC is already less than uh, 1,000, okay, you should put your patients into reverse isolation, okay, meaning you isolate the individual who has no uh, uh, disease or disorder from the general public, okay, uh, kasi is is prone to infection. Then, assess for signs of a respiratory infection, okay, kung meron siyang uh, crackles, okay, meron siyang cough, okay, and then, um, yun, if you cannot isolate the patients, okay, tell the patients to avoid crowd, uh, crowdy uh, places, okay, para malayo sa, sa infection, okay. So, next, hematologic problem is anemia, okay. Bababa naman dyan ang kanyang um, RBC, okay. So, kung mababa ang RBC, there will be decreased uh, blood cells that carry oxygen, okay. So, the patient is uh, prone to fatigue, okay. He will um, uh, fatigue easily. So, you, uh, provide adequate rest period okay para makapagpahinga siya to prevent fatigue and then you monitor the CBC kung uh, pabagsak ng pabagsak ang kanyang uh, uh, blood count okay specifically the RBC and then if the patient's um, is um uh, nahirapan huminga uh, kasi nga uh, decrease na yung uh, uh, oxygen capacity ng ating blood, okay, you may offer uh, oxygen uh, administration, okay, or, or oxygen therapy, okay, yung um, as needed, okay, kung hirap siya, then you offer oxygen. Okay, okay sa 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 integumentary naman, ay uh, a problem that you might encounter um, uh, is alopecia, okay? Especially kung uh, the patient is uh, undergoing a chemotherapy, okay? Sa alopecia ay um, ang kanyang hair sa so kanyang um, uh, ulo or sa head ay nag naglalagas na, okay? So, nagkaroon ng baldness na. Uh, so, ang dapat mo gawin as a nurse is you explain uh, that the hair loss is not permanent, okay? After the treatment, after the, the chemotherapy, ay babalik din yung, uh, yung kanyang hair. Then, you provide support and encouragement, okay? Sa inyong pasyente. Uh, you tell them uh, to uh, have a scalp tourniquet or scalp uh, hypothermia to minimize hair loss, okay? And then... Uh, Kung talagang naglalagas na, I uh, advise them to uh, obtain a wig. Okay? A hair wig uh, para ang kanilang um, uh, self-image or ay hindi ganun bababa. Okay? Next, salinal system naman, uh, it might cause a direct damage to the kidney by the um, excreting metabolites, right? Uh, pag pag excrete mo na yung yung uh, uh, yung drug it will directly damage your kidney okay so anong gagawin mo is you encourage your uh, patients to uh, uh, increase fluid intake okay para the patients will have a frequent voiding okay para maitapon niya yung metabolites okay uh, next sa ating um, okay another thing pala uh, because of uh, there will be an excretion of increased uh, excretion of uric acid. Okay, your kid, the kidney of the patients may uh, damage. Okay, so anong ating um, uh, nursing action is you we administered uh, allopurinol. Okay, allopurinol. Okay, for 
the uric acid. Okay? Para ma- 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 metabolize yung uric acid para hindi madamage ang kidney. And then, para ma-wash out yung um, yung uh, uric acid, okay, or para to eliminate is we encourage uh, our patient to increase again uh, oral fluid intake. Okay. Aha. Sa ating um, reproductive system naman, um, infertility and uh, mutagenic damage to chromosomes uh, may happen because of the uh, of the drug of the chemo drug so ang ating um, advice okay if the patients still want to uh, if a like for example a man okay still want to have a um, it, uh, to have or to sire a child okay is we uh, advise them to uh, perform or to have a banking sperm okay uh, mag uh, iba bank nila or ipapay store nila yung kanilang sperm and then this sperm may might, might be used for the uh, artificial insemination okay and also since uh pwedeng damage ang kanyang uh damage ang ang cells okay ang in sperm okay it might cause a um, uh, abnormal fetus or uh, abnormal uh, uh, baby okay so you tell them or you advise them okay uh, to use contraception uh, during the uh, chemotherapy regimen okay until um, the uh, the chemotherapy regimen is completed Okay, wag mo nang ay mag contraception muna kung hindi mapigilan. Okay? Okay. So this is a um, alopecia. And okay. Now for the goals of intervention. Okay. Okay. The goals the goals for intervention is to um, to care uh, without functional or structural impairment. Okay, so ito uh, as much as possible, there should be no functional as as uh, an structural impairment. Okay, but then if if cure is not possible, goal must prevent further metastasize or relieve of symptoms and maintain the high quality of life of our client okay so that's the goal of intervention when performing a um, uh, management for a patient with uh, cancer okay another um, management that can be done okay to a patient is uh, bone marrow transplant okay dito uh, use in the treatment of leukemia for clients who have closely matched donor okay and experience temporary remission with chemotherapy. Okay. Ito ginagamit sa mga with severe aplastic anemia, may breast cancer, at brain cancer. Okay. So, ang ginagawa nito ay uh, uh, kumukuha sila ng, ng, uh, ng, uh, ng bone marrow and then i-transplant dun sa client. Okay. So, meron tayong uh, two types of uh, uh, bone marrow transplant the autologous and the allogenic okay ang autologous ay uh, ang pinanggalingan ng bone marrow ay sa tao ay sa kanya rin okay doon sa client din ang pinanggalingan ng ng bone marrow why allogenic naman ay uh, transplant from genetically non identical donor Okay, ang pinanggagalingan niya most commonly ay sa kanilang kamag-anak o kaya sa kanyang kapatid. Okay, para to um, uh, prevent a rejection of the transplant. Okay, paano ba ginagawa ito? Paano ba ginagawa ang, uh, ang transplant? Okay, first is uh, they will harvest. Okay. Through multiple aspiration from the iliac crest. Ano yung iliac crest? 
dito sa may um, mga pelvic bones natin, okay? pelvic bones ng pasyente. Okay? To retrieve sufficient bone marrow for transplant, about 500 ml to 1,000 ml. Okay? And then, they will uh, condition the patients, or uh, the next step is the conditioning. They will condition the, the, the patients okay? by giving immunosuppressant therapy. Okay? Uh, to eradicate all malignant cells okay para matanggal muna yung yung um, malignant cells kasi baka mamaya sisirain din lang din naman niya yung iya ilalagay uh, na uh, bone marrow sa kanya next is uh, transplantation ito ay um, uh, i-administer na nila yung na harvest nila through central line like a uh, uh, nagbabablad transfuse okay dapat uh, uh, it should be infused for 33 minutes only kasi pag masyado matagal is mamatay din yung uh, bone marrow okay and then next is uh, the process called engrafting or engrafment okay ito the transfuse um, bone marrow will now move to the marrow forming site. Okay? Papasok na siya. Okay? Uh, it occurs when ito ay nangyayari na, kung makapansin mo na lang, if the WBC, the retrocyte, the platelet, okay, will begin to rise. Okay? Tataas na yung count niya. Okay? Uh, this will happen about 2 um, to 5 weeks after. Okay? After transplantation. Okay? Um, the complication of uh, bone marrow uh, trans uh, bone marrow transplant okay is first uh, failure of engraftment okay hindi siya pumasok okay hindi siya nagproduce ng um, ng um, uh, blood cells okay another is infection ito ay um, very uh, risky during the 3 to 4 weeks okay kasi nga ay uh, wala pa siyang uh, Uh, ang kanyang ang kanyang immune system is depressed okay because of depression of your uh, of your bone marrow okay at at merong site of um, injection right there's a a uh, uh, opening okay uh, next pneumonia uh, this is the principal cause of death during the first three months okay nagkaroon ng infection of the of the lungs then As a graft versus host disease, ito ang very the, the principal complication of uh, of bone marrow transplant. Okay, uh, acute phase will be the first 100 days post transplant, and the chronic is after 100 days to 40 days. Okay, dito ay pwedeng uh, mag-reject yung transplant na ibinigay sa pasyente because hindi sila uh, match or it uh, develop a, um, a uh, antibody for the foreign uh, uh, bone marrow that is introduced to him or to her. Okay. What be, well, what will be our nursing care? Okay. Pre-transplant before the, the procedure is uh, will be done is we provide protective environment. So, um, the patient should, para makuha ma natin that, that the patients will not be uh, uh, infected, is we put the, our, our client into strict reverse isolation. Meaning, sabi ko nga, you uh, isolate your client to the general public. Okay? Next is you monitor the central lines frequency. Okay, yung pinagdaan, pinagdaan baka mamaya mag, uh, mayroon siyang infiltration na yung yung uh, IV line ninyo. Okay? And then provide care uh, if the patient is re uh, receiving chemotherapy, yung mga diniskas natin kanina, yung mga care, okay, na diniskas natin kanina. Then after the transplant naman is ganun pa rin our uh, goal or our to our um, Uh, aim is to prevent infection. Uh, how we going to do that is we maintain a protective environment for our client. Okay, 
na hindi, na hindi siya mahawa or hindi, or hindi siya magkaroon ng infection if uh, pwede nang magbigay ng uh, antibiotic for prophylaxis then check the IV set uh, every uh, 12 hours okay kung meron ng sign of infection or or you change the the IV set okay every 12 hours para clean lagi yung IV set na naka uh, pasok sa pasyente and then provide mouth care uh, kung merong stomatitis and mucositis okay stomatitis sabi mo kanina yung inflammation of your buccal mucosa yan and then mucositis okay uh, um yun uh, yes, it, because uh, maging prone sila for infection okay Next is uh, uh, you monitor carefully for bleeding. Okay, how are you going to do that? Uh, one way na nagkaroon ng bleeding is sa intestine. Okay, so you check for the um, presence of occult blood. Okay, pag siya ay um, uh, sumuka or emesis or or um, sa kanyang uh, stool, if there is a presence of blood. And then observe for um, easy bruising, uh, di ba? Uh, pwedeng um, uh, um, uh, risk siya for uh, bleeding because of uh, uh, blow, low in uh, platelet. Okay, so therefore you should uh, check the, uh, the your the platelet count daily of your uh, patients. And then uh, if masyadong mababa, okay, ang kanyang mga blood component is you replace them uh, by uh, uh, blood transfusion then maintain fluid and electrolyte balance provide client uh, health teaching okay uh, to prevent infection okay and complication <coughs> okay so what will what will be the thing that we should assess okay mass a nurse okay we should assess for uh, weight loss in our case uh, in our patients okay uh, because the weight of our patients with cancer is there will be a sudden loss of, uh, of weight okay there will be wasting of of the muscles okay uh, assessment for um, for infection you should perform it frequently okay para makita natin if nag start na ang infection sa kanya and we can address it uh, immediately uh, skin problem, ganun then if there will be a, a breaking of the skin, okay, uh, the, our patients will be put in um, risk for uh, infection. Uh, if our patients sit in pain, okay, uh, we should um, uh, administer uh, pain analgesic, okay. If the patient is having hair loss, okay, uh, the patient is uh, easily fatigable, uh, there is a uh, already uh, presence of disturbance in his body image okay our patients is uh, already depressed about his condition or about his appearance okay we should know that or we should um, check for that okay what now let's go as a nurse what will be our management sa mga problem that in, that uh, uh, encountered uh, so patients with um, cancer okay uh, diba sabi ko pain is the most concerned uh, symptoms sign symptoms for uh, cancer patients and their family okay we should uh, know the description of the pain okay and whatever the client say it is kung anong sinabi niya kung anong claim niya whether the client the, uh, whether whenever the client say it uh, exists okay dapat paniwalaan natin yon okay uh, dapat uh, uh, bigyan natin ng pansin okay next uh, may be caused by treatment uh, cancer destruction of tissue or pressure uh, on nearby structure and cancer progression okay kaya nagkakaroon ng pain yung patient natin or even uh, bone metastasis okay this is a very uh, common cause of uh, pain uh, experienced by a cancer client uh, pain as 
uh, cancer and and life okay remember that uh, we should know that the uh, that 30 percent of our clients will experience pain at the time of diagnosis okay hindi lahat ay uh, na experience ng pain only 30 percent of them will experience pain okay and also about 30 percent to 50 percent will uh, experience pain while undergoing therapy okay so we should know we should uh, remember that okay and um, uh, consider that uh, the, the patients or our patients might uh, experiencing uh, pain okay and uh, 7 to, to 90 um, percent uh, of our client will experience pain as uh, cancer advances and overcomes their defenses okay so patas ng patas okay uh, yung uh, percentage uh, that the patients uh, might encounter pain or might experience pain okay okay uh, ang cancer pain is uh, it's complex interactive and um, uh, ever changing okay papabago bago it comes from two general sources okay the cancer itself sabi ko nga and its various various treatment okay or even the treatment might cause pains uh, patienting with cancer uh, the cancer pain is more uh, it's more than the physical symptoms okay sometimes it's a reminder of one's mortality and a harbinger a harbinger of death okay so re you should remember that uh pending our patients might be uh expiring soon okay it also interferes with the normal routine degrade the quality of life and robs one's of rest uh, creativity joy and peace okay. uh so we should we should uh, be considerate our patients okay another cancer pain adds to stress and worry to its sufferer and friends and family for this reason uh, healthcare professionals okay uh, should provide uh, assistance and comfort to our client and his significant others okay so anong mga nursing intervention natin Okay, pag mangyayari ito is we assess all clients for pain even if they do not appear to be experiencing pain. Okay? Hindi sila nagkakomplain ng pain pero tingnan natin baka mamaya in pain na pala yung pasyente natin. Okay? And then educate Okay? Educate uh, the clients and families about narcotic use. Okay? Ito yung mga, uh, mga gamot na ginagamit natin uh, to control the pain. Okay? Because uh, sometimes the client will ask uh, for um, for the lib okay uh, frequently and it might cause a addiction okay so correct uh, use of narcotic results in addition in uh, less than percent of client okay kung correct ang ating paggamit ng uh, this came back from a search oh, wait lang Okay. Ayun. Sana ako. Okay. So narcotic dose may be increased with the increasing dose uh, not have be reserved for the last resort, okay? So pwede kang magbigay uh uh paunti-unti, s'yempre tumataas ang kanyang ang kanyang uh, uh, ang kanyang uh, experience to pain, okay? Uh the intense of pain is so therefore mag increase ka rin uh, ng uh, dosage of your narcotic dose okay and wag mo ngayon gamitin as last resort na yung narcotics okay Next. okay we should instruct our client on uh, non-pharmacological uh, non methods of pain management like for example relaxation yoga okay um uh, uh, massage, okay, physical uh, 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 methods like hot packs, ice, uh, ice packs, then administered pain medication as ordered, utilizing a combination of non-narcotic and a narcotic analgesic, okay, para maging uh, 
mas potent yung effect niya and it will and it will not promote addiction then uh, uh, the the route that is preferred is oral okay kung possible na manaman ito you give uh, uh, the narcot uh, the analgesics through oral okay yon If there's also myelosuppression, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng reduced number of white blood cells. Okay, di ba? Our uh, bone marrow is the one who producing uh, blood components or blood cells. Okay, so pag na-depress because of um, of the treatment or, or the disease process, okay, uh, bababa ngayon ang ating, or madidepress ang ating uh, bone marrow. There will be myelosuppression. Okay, And the result of that is that is the reduced numbers of white and blood and red blood cells and platelet okay uh, associated with cancer or treatment okay so magkaroon ng neutropenia if there uh, the it's already less than 1000 okay ang inyong uh, uh, RBC uh, thrombocytopenia pag less than 100,000 naman ang inyong platelet okay Uh, this will result in uh, infection and bleeding and then uh, because of this magkaroon ka ng stomatitis or mucositis okay uh, the oral cavity will now be the primary site of infection so we should monitor for um, uh, clinical manifestation of infection okay anong mga to anong mga clinical manifestations of your of infection okay uh, there will be erythema okay namumula warm and swelling at incision site okay kung saan ka saan ka nag uh, nag uh, nag inject or or nag nag uh, uh, punctured okay the patients might have fever uh, the patients will uh, Uh, experience shaking and chills okay nanginginig siya then pain uh, foul smelling discharge okay sa mouth niya okay sa mga mga incision site okay there will be a uh, white oral plaque okay sa kanyang um uh, buccal mucosa uh, there will be changes in sensorium okay uh, parang uh, din uh, na nawawala siya sa sarili niya next You should monitor for uh, clinical manifestation also of uh, for bleeding uh, because of uh, myelosuppression. Anong uh, yung monitor mo? If there's a presence of uh, bruising and petechiae, okay. Okay. Uh, next, if there's a presence of uh, blood in the urine, a stool, and uh, vomitus. Pag there is a uh, uh, bumababa kan bumababa lang kanyang mentation or kaya or kaya yung sensorium o kaya yung kanyang um, uh, consciousness uh, if the patient is experiencing pain ang kanyang uh, pulse is very weak rapid his blood pressure is low okay ang kanyang skin is pale okay uh, this is already sign of shock due to bleeding okay so what will be our nursing intervention okay um uh, instruct, instruct to practice uh, of careful washing perform oral and perennial care uh, patients client in protective isolation administer antibiotic and antipyretic okay avoid an uh, unnecessary invasive procedure to prevent bleeding or infection avoid shaving kasi baka mamaya masugat niya habang nasi-shave siya masugat niya kay mag-process ng bleeding okay hindi mag-aampat ang kanyang sugat okay dire-diretso siyang uh, dudugo because mababa na ang kanyang platelet which is responsible for uh, coagulation dapat okay then you administered um, ice gastric lavage okay yung malamig kay ay ipapasok mo sa kanyang uh, gas gastric uh, next for uh, tissue integrity naman to uh, maintain the tissue integrity is uh, dapat 
uh, if you're handling the skin, you should be gentle. Okay? Do not rub affected area. Kung uh, mayroon siyang uh, part doon na, na under the radiation. Okay? That's very sensitive. Uh, if you will apply a, a, a lotion, okay? Dapat mild lang siya. Um, uh, wash skin only with soap and water. Okay? Uh, huwag ka na uh, mga irritating chemicals, okay? Na pang uh, wash mo na skin because it's already... Um, uh, damage ang kanyang skin integrity. Next. Uh, so, stomatitis naman. Okay. Anong ating management is uh, we advise our patients uh, to use soft bristle toothbrush. Okay. Yung lang fine ang, ang, ang kanyang bristle. Okay. Para hindi masugat ang kanyang gums or even yung buccal mucosa niya. Then, advice to um or rinse with saline gargle or tap water only okay dapat i-avoid niyang alcohol based rinses <coughs> excuse me <coughs> next sa management of alopecia naman okay uh, usually alopecia uh, begins within 2 weeks of therapy okay so mawawala na yung kanyang book pag nag pag uh, nag uh, chemotherapy siya and then you tell the patients or or you inform the, your client that it will regrow within eight weeks of termination of therapy okay so you encourage to acquire wig before hair loss occur uh, para hindi naman siya mahiya or uh, magkaroon ng uh, uh, self uh, ng low esteem okay encourage use of attractive scarves and hats scarf and hats Okay, para mang, mang power, may pang-forma pa rin siya. Okay, guwapo pa rin siya, maganda pa rin siya. Then, uh, provide information that hair loss is temporary, uh, but anticipate change in texture and color if uh, his or her hair will return or will regrow. Okay? For uh, the nutrition naman, uh, you should promote uh, nutrition by... Um, uh, serving food in ways uh, that is um, will make him appealing okay, to eat. Uh, we should uh, also consider the preference of our patients. So, huwag natin pagpilitan yung uh, gusto natin para makain siya uh, yung tanongin natin kung anong uh, uh, gusto niyang kainin. Then, uh, kung wala talaga siyang appetite is uh, we perform uh, small frequent feeding or um, uh, uh, provide small frequent meals okay meaning kahit paunti ante pero madalas okay kung 3 times a day baka pwedeng kahit na 10 times a day okay kahit na paunti ante then avoid giving fluid while eating kasi this fluid will make him um, uh, make him or make her feel full so lalo siyang hindi nakakakain okay next is um, oral hygiene prior to meal time okay para maganda yung feeling niya maganda yung mouth na feeling sa mouth niya okay uh, clean yung mouth niya okay it will encourage him to eat or he will uh, enjoy uh, the taste of the food and then kung uh, kailangan is uh, you give a uh, vitamin supplement okay para ma-achieve din niya yung vitamins that is needed for her or for him uh, for uh, managing complication naman uh, uh, specifically septic shock okay, septic shock is uh, shock due to infection right okay so anong dapat natin ibantayin dito is uh, the vital signs uh, the, basically the BP and the temperature okay so vital signs yung kanyang pulse kung magkaroon ng shock is very weak okay ang kanyang pulse at saka mabilis okay ang kanyang BP is, uh, is uh, low okay ang kanyang temperature is also low okay that is a uh, uh, pending sign of shock then uh, you administered anti uh, IV antibiotics para mabilis to uh, correct the infection. Uh, pag uh, hirap huminga, uh, the patient is we administered supplemental oxygen. Okay. 
Uh, sa bleeding naman, complication of bleeding, pag masyadong uh, mababa na ang kanyang platelet, uh, less than 100,000, uh, is the most common cause of, of bleeding. Uh, at kapag sobrang baba na, uh, less than uh, 20,000 na ang kanyang platelet, ay magkakaroon ng spontaneous bleeding. Okay? Bigla-bigla ng walang cause, ay nagkakaroon ng bleeding ang ating client. Okay, so that ends uh, my lecture on uh, cancer, on the, the, the general uh, aspect of uh, cancer. Um, the, the next topic will be the lung cancer. Okay, thank you and see you again on my next video.